situation. My situation, um, and and I, I, I was evaluating myself as a narcissist or looking at my situation as a narcissist, but oh, the ISFJ is like, okay, nobody loves me, you know, that, that kind of, uh, you know, that can happen. My situation has almost, you know, I'm, uh, I socially isolated myself by, I moved to a different geographic location and I need to start over. But my problem is almost reverse. I'm narcissistic, so I go out, or I've told myself I'm narcissistic, so I'll go out and try to make friends for my own personal enjoyment or my own personal gain, per se. Um, but my confusion is people like me too much and I don't understand why. Mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> so, and I mean, that's, that's you know, so it's, it's bragging, it's showboating, but it's actually a literal frustration. Um, no, I, I, I can understand that. You know, so it's just like, I don't, you know, a part of it is a lack of confidence and self-understanding as to why people actually like me. And then the other part is the frustration of the expectation once people like me, and then they've got a, these expectations on me. And it's just like, why does people like me? they've only seen like the surface of you and now they expect you to be the same pleasant person. And then after that, you probably feel obligated to fulfill that, I guess, idea they have of you. Exactly. And that surface is... I don't want to say That's like constricting a little bit too to have that obligation. Like if I go out in public or if I go to a social event, I like to go to social events. I like to go like a club, um, like a Spanish club or, you know, something like that or um, just uh, just a icebreaker activity, whatever, where I don't know anybody. So and it's not that I it's put on my you. best. It's just that it's not exactly your character all the way. But it's not my know. exact character. I put on my right. best I put on my best character and I want, you know, like I wouldn't want to walk into the bank and interact with a bank teller and not put my best on because right. then we're both going to smile and laugh about it. But when I do that, like if I go to activities like that, sure, I'm fishing for people that I might include in my, you know, in my future that I would actually interact with more as long-term friends. But for the most part, I'm just putting my best on and interacting with people and it's pretty fake or, it's not yeah. even that it's so fake that it's evil. Right. It's just It's just it's almost like a it's almost like a, a little shield you put around yourself, but it, it it's not so much as it is it's not as forced as people think. It's kind of just like a, a natural demeanor. You know, like they assume that extroverted feeling is so fake for this reason because you'll be polite to somebody or oh hi, nice to meet you, you know, all that. It's really not fake though, even though it's not it, it's not like I guess some people just come across with their personality being on the surface. And I don't, I, people like that are great, but I'm not one of those people. I don't understand that. You know, it's just so hard for me to even figure out my own personality. So I completely relate to what you said. People see me as a pleasant, almost like a, I don't know, sometimes I feel like a, a social automaton. You know, I'm just there for other people's interaction. And I come across as very amiable and very receptive and warm. And so they'll warm up to me very quickly. But I'm skeptical of the reasons for liking me because all they've seen is the service I've put out. It's just exactly all you see is it, and they assume, like you said, they assume your character, and then that becomes an obligation. And then I find myself acting ways around different people because I know it's what they're expecting of me, and I wouldn't have the heart to be honest with them with how harsh my opinions might be, or how, mm -hmm. or how I might do something else because I know they're going to take it personally, and I know they're going to be upset with something like that and some of them even have the nerve to tell me that it's not my character and so for that reason I hate extroverted feeling because while my my amiable side is is not fake it's also not 100% my character but it's impossible for me to put myself on the outside you know it's I can't do that it takes time to get in there you know it's like <sighs> And so I, I kind of laugh internally when people look at, look at me and they go, oh, yeah, you're this kind of person, or you're like that, or, you know. And I'm like, no, you've gotten used to me acting that way because that's, like, the mask I wear around you because you've come to expect me to be that way. I noticed that, and I continued it. And it, it's it's partially my own fault for, you know, maintaining that. Um, and so for that reason, a lot of people think I'm very shallow or I don't have much to say or I'm just this oh, a smiley, happy person, or, oh, yeah, she's nice. She's not really interesting, no. And that's fine because I don't show them anything about myself in that regard, you know. And that that is definitely extroverted feeling, and that's probably biggest problem 
I've ever had with figuring myself out is what am I and what is what I'm extroverted feeling for everybody else? What are my opinions and what are other people? I can't separate the two. I think it's just stronger in me because it's my dominant function, but you know, so you probably won't relate to some of that, but no, I actually that that's actually the strongest argument so far is I wasn't expecting that to be that um I wasn't expecting that answer or that exact conjecture. Um, but uh, I actually relate to that quite a bit, and that's kind of weird. Um, and that's actually a big, big, um, it, it's just a, a big occurrence, I guess, at this point in, in my life. Um, hmm. It's, <coughs> and I, I suppose you've had that too, is I've had it. I can, I can sit down and remember the times of people that I've spent a, Decent amount of time with, there's some time with, and I could talk about this, that, the other thing, whatever. But, um, but I really hate it, and it's really sad to say that I hate it. But I just, oh, I just, I know I'm, uh, I, I know it's going to be bad when they pull you aside and they say, I only have, you know, they, they when they even when they have like larger social circles or anything else like that, when they pull you aside and they say, I only have, you know, three or four people I I count as friends and you know, right now you're 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 one of those people in that type. Um, I've had so many people pull me aside and do that, and I just feel terrible because at that point I'm just like, oh shoot, I just want to run because it's it's just like I I'm now agree. totally obligated, but they're totally not. In the and that same just shoots the responsibility way up. Like now you have this huge responsibility towards them, and I find that people. Because I come across as so genuine, and, and in a way I am, but at the same time, I wear it on my sleeve in some ways. And so I'll, people will consider me as very close to them. And to me, if I never saw them again, like that sounds awful, it wouldn't make a difference. And sometimes I, I want to escape people because I can't stand the way I become around them. I can't stand the personality that I'm projecting around them, and, and I feel confined, like I can't be myself. So I find that I'm most myself when I'm alone. You know, if anybody is in there, I'll find that I'm, I'm changing for them in some way. And so whenever I get too close to people, I think that's what it roots back to is wanting to get away from them or wanting to stop talking to them or not be close to them. And, you know, after Effie is satisfied with just the interaction, I want to disappear because I don't like to become too conformed around one person. And so for that reason, it, it, it stops me from having genuine relationships with people. I can't, I can't become close with people. Yeah, it's extremely hard to detach myself from changing and being comfortable with changing around them because I'm always changing constantly. I don't feel like the same person even within a year. Even within the same year, I can feel like three different people. Um, I'll look back and feel like that person is so far behind me and the people around me will be expecting me to act the same way and so then I'll feel obligated. And so it's that constrict or constriction that just, like you said, makes me want to run away. And like you said, people will care more about me than I do for them. And I feel like extroverted feeling, though, obligates me to sit there and tell them I care too. Or, you know, you know affirm them and just kind of make them feel comfortable in, 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 their, in their declaration. And I, I'll just, I'll tell them those white lies rather than hurt their feelings. And that's an awful thing to do. I don't recommend anybody should do that. But I can't stop myself from doing it, and so I think it's best if I just stay away from people or stay away from getting close to them. But if I don't, then I kind of dry up. So I constantly go through that cycle. 